Let's move to this where I, there's a misunderstanding. There's a misunderstanding on my stance against our Ariel being black. There's a misunderstanding on my stance against Rogue or any other character, Tinkerbell, Velma. The list goes on. The list just keeps, it's getting bigger, right? People don't like the fact that some of us they consider if if I was a, if I was another race, people would call me a racist. Let's just be, but since I'm not that race and I am black, I'm considered against my own people. Whatever, however you want to look at it, it has nothing to do with the individual playing as these characters. It has nothing to do with Holly Bailey. It has nothing to do with. Uh, whoever's going to play as this person or this person that has nothing to do with it that has nothing to do with it zero I'm not out here to I'm not it's, it, I'm not going to lose my mind over it I, it's not like I'm just going to go out my way to make sure or try to have him boycott any of these films so when people in it, in particularly TikTok and some of the comments on my channel People are sensitive. The people get offended extremely easy. They call you negative because you disagree with something. It's not being negative. You guys are creating a new definition for negative. Negative is more like me saying the movie's going to be trash. That's being negative. Because first of all, the movie never came out. So to make that prejudgment to say it's going to be trash... It's just me said there, but there would have to be some other reason why I would say it was going to be trash. There would, it would have to be because Disney has uh, fl has been on the down spiral. They have standalone live action films that come out that people watch and they say, "All right, wait a minute." Beauty and the Beast. I saw it. It was pretty good. I thought it was fairly close to what the animated cartoon was. Uh. I thought that I was a little sketchy of Aladdin. Uh, I that that live action film of Aladdin was I I guess I'll say it was okay. I thought that uh, I thought Princess I thought Princess Jasmine could have been better. I thought that uh, Will Smith as GD it it do it do I I I wasn't like I I didn't, I didn't lose my mind over it. But, you know, once I saw it, I just, I thought it was okay. Uh, What other ones went live action? I did not see Milan. I did not see that one. Uh, but people are taking offense. So that goes down to this article here where it says, Ariel attack. Haters come for Little Mermaid once again. Now, that's how they, that's how they take it. Now, I don't know what these people are saying or what was said here. But I'm probably considered one of those people for disagreeing. There's a difference from disagreeing and being on the tack of Ariel. Of Ariel. I'm saying that wrong. All right. So it says during the 90, 95th Academy Awards Sunday, Holly Bailey, who plays as uh, Tuller, Tuller, Mermaid. Oh, Tatilla Mermaid character, Ariel, and Melissa McCarthy plays as uh, Ursula. Ursula uh, introduced to the first length trailer for the much anticipated remake. Previously, Disney has released two short teaser trailers that offered only glimpses of Ariel and the Oceanic co Companions. All right, so let's get to the backlash. All right, so it says backlash. Okay, it says right here. There are only 165,000 likes on the video. So, you notice how they say only. Okay, so it says backlash against the film has existed since the project was announced publicly. When it was reported in 2019, the 22-year-old Bailey, who would play Ariel, where was where was an instant negative wave of criticism online from those who felt a black woman should not play as an iconic mermaid princess. 
Now, I guess I'm one of those people I don't really consider a backlash. I don't really consider it be a negative or an attack. It's just being realistic. So, YouTube, YouTube as a whole even opted to disable the site's public dislike counter as a result of hateful garbage or, or barrage, I mean, on the original teaser trailer, which amazed 1.5 million dislikes in the first two days of its September 22 release. So, last month, Bailey spoke to the magazine The Face about the racism she experienced as a result of playing Ariel. As a black person, you just expect it and it's not really a shock anymore, she has told the outlet. Okay, uh, let's get into this. Again, they call it racism. Is it race? So, it's the only racism if you swap a white person to become a black person? Or would you consider it racism if you take a black character and turn them into a white character? It's a no win, it's a no win on that term racism, how you want to use it towards that situation. Now, did people say some things that may have came off as racist? They probably did. It's the internet. The internet is undefeated when it comes to negativity or positivity both so people want to focus on the negativity right people don't like me disagreeing with their plan as ariel they talk about oh my god she's a great actress she is fantastic and you hate northern and stuff i'm not hating on holly holly bailey i have nothing against holly bailey great singer great artist great personality person based off videos i've seen of her She's dating DG, DDG. I mean, listen. I'm not out here to knock anybody. I'm, it, 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 wasn't, it wasn't even her decision. So for y'all to try to make it seem like everybody's after her, it's the people who created it. I, I'm more for, like, if you say we need more inclusion, we need more black people, we need more Hispanics, we need more Asian, we need more Indian. Well, Indian's Asian too, so. Uh, African portrayed characters, uh, whatever, Islanders, however you want to say it. To me, you don't take Tinkerbell, you don't take Ariel, you don't take some of the ones we have seen when I was just talking about X Men, uh, Rogue. You don't take these characters and swap them. You, you, these are made up created characters so which means you can make up and create more characters why take ones that were already created and switch it why take why take uh uh oh there's too many white people on cereal boxes why take captain crunch and turn to a black captain what's the point of that i mean you can but i mean you can make it a different person but you can't make it the same person that's my point you want to create a mermaid film? Make a sequel. They had an animated series back in the 90s that came on, uh, I think it came on Disney Channel. It was an animated series. There was other characters in the film. Now, if you want to reboot a film, add some characters. Add another main character and just have it be a black person. Create a whole new film. Not mermaid, not Lion King or well, Lion King's animal, so it doesn't matter. Not Snow White, not Peter Pan. You just create a whole new. You create a whole new movie, new title, new new characters. No one never even heard of, never seen before. Inclusion. You got Hispanic people in there. You got black people in there. You got, you got Asians in there. You got white. You got everything diverse. Problem solved. No, but that's not good enough. You don't know why that's not good enough? Because I know for a fact this is what they're doing. They're doing... Look, Vel, Let's use Velma for a prime example. I mean, I know it's not Disney, but we can use Velma for a prime example. Velma took a character out of a Scooby-Doo film, made a standalone show, and made the show have nothing to do with... the Velma from the past had nothing to do with Daphne, Fred, Shaggy... And Scooby wasn't even in it. But you changed everything. Not only you changed race or personalities, 
I mean, that's that. You change all everybody's personality. You change Shaggy Black. You change Velma to an Indian, a black Indian. You know what they did? They used the name. It's the name. That's what they're doing. They don't want to create new stuff. They want to take a big name so it can get eyeballs. And so people can argue about what the character should look like or who the character should be or how she should be. They're doing this on purpose. The division is created or it has to be. There is no way. That you can sit there and make a film and expect nobody. Imagine, imagine, imagine. Imagine they present Ariel, right? They present Ariel as a black woman, which they did. Not a soul was against it. Not one person. What would the articles be? The articles would be looking for one person. They would take that one person and make it an everybody thing. They'll take that one person that, that disagreed, make it an everybody thing. But imagine if nobody disagreed. They'd be sitting there in shock. Articles like this wouldn't even exist. They wouldn't know what to talk about. They would be talking about, man, we can't wait. We can't, not a, everybody can't wait to see it. Like, <laughs> you take a big name and you switch it characters around. It's lazy. Create new ones. We'll, we'll just make, we'll just diverse, let's diverse Black Panther, how about that? And then, you know what the argument could be? Oh, there's, there's other people, there's other races, races in, in, in Africa. I mean, to me, it's lazy. We'll take Snow White, let's take Cinderella, and they already did a Cinderella, like, I think it was like Play With Brandy in the 90s. You're going to take all the, the comic book superheroes. See, see, even even with Spider-Man, let's let's use Spider-Man for a prime example. You want to know why Miles Morales, there's some people that gave it a backlash, but let's let's be real. You want to know why Miles Morales or, or even Jon Stewart were not that big of a deal? Because there was a whole other person. It was a whole other character. Miles Morales is not Peter Parker. Miles Morales is Miles Morales. Peter Parker is Peter Parker. You t Batman. There's some, there's some people that wanted to see a change in Batman. But why would you do that? Bruce Wayne is Bruce Wayne. You don't take the name or the title to try to boost some type of diverse... The characters are being put in it. Lucius. Lucius is a black character that's in it that everybody knows that helps Bruce Wayne. Why would we turn Bruce Wayne into a black dude? Or why would we turn Robin into a black dude? What's the point of doing that? There are, we saw the CW series. See how they deal with Batwoman. I mean... <laughs> It is what it is, right? But CW is cheesy. Um, I just, I again, lazy way of thinking, lazy way of creativity, too lazy to create new stuff. Let's just take existing stuff, change the characters because we need diverse. We want all of our black people and Latinos and all these other people to be like, oh my God, I can see myself. The kids will be able to see themselves on the film. But somehow they wouldn't be able to see themselves in a film that was new with starring characters that are black. What about, what about Frozen? Frozen, I don't recall any Frozen from the 90s. Right, that's a that came out of the two thousands, right? No, no, I go. I don't know the characters. And there's not. I didn't see any black here, but let's let's just. People love that. It was a new series. It was a new series when it came out. People loved it, right? It was brand new and people loved it. They can't do that. They can't do that now. They can't create something new and people will like it. Uh, anyways. I just wanted to touch on some of the stuff that was, you know, I felt like, I felt like they, they really, 
people are, are misunderstanding my thought process. And uh, just want to touch on it. All right, that's this week's rant of the week. I'm just playing. I'll see you on the next one next week.